Hello everyone, this is G-Shock High Fashion Channel. Today, I'm wearing two square G-Shock. Both of them considerably to be square, but this thing a little bit more square than this, but this is this classic square model. This is the GW5000. This is the G8000. Okay, done on the wrist jack for today's video. We're gonna have a look at another square model, similar as this guy, but in a different colorway. This guy over here was released just like in the year of 2009, so you can still find this on the internet, which is up here. On the book, we're gonna have a look at G8100B minus 4JF. Johinna Peruto no Retro no Shikicho wo Gendai Hyufu ni Arrange. Which means that the the main feature, the main dis uh, design idea behind this this release, this colorway is that retro color and also a pale tone which match with that uh, fashion trend at that time in the year 2009 so i'm not sure if that's true or what i didn't follow the trends back in that time but they said that this is a trend the tone or the type of colorway that people are liking at that time so that's why they released this and if you look at other model that was released on the same year we did receive this uh, broken circus the peg leg union these are uh, the SW kind of called cool. the, the, the this is the G Shock man and also we got the Rose Gold Frogman as well. So yeah, looking for all this color combination, I'm pretty sure that it is very true. And the year 2009, people like a lot of colors. Anyway, I'm getting out of topic. This guy was retail at only about 12,000 yen only, and you could get this below retail, of course, at far cheaper price than that for sure. But since this thing is like already over 10 years old, so it's gonna be very very hard to find this in store. You might be lucky, you might find one, but most of the time the easiest way to get is through online site or from resellers only. This guy operates on 3078, which I think I already covered uh, using this guy before. Full module demonstration and explanation on how this thing works. So in this video, we're just gonna cover on the colorway, which I found to be a little... I mean, of course, they are different in colorway, but what else that makes both of these differs? Okay, first of all, as you guys can see now, this one comes in a positive display, which is a better display compared to this guy in negative. So this thing gonna be easier to use. And one other thing that I just uh, I noticed as soon as I grab this is that this part over here, this metal part yeah i believe this part is metal i did mention that this part is plastic on previous video but one of you guys corrected me so thank you very much so this part is indeed metal and in this model as you are seeing right now it is full glossy almost mirror like you can see your reflection even your face on there if you look at it in this one matte finish in black which is very cool looking in this piece though it's more elegant this thing is square and not as big it looks almost like a bracelet than a watch so yeah this is elegant and the colorway though burgundy red or brown red or maroon i'm not sure uh, what the exact term for this but you guys could judge it by yourself look at that it's very nice it almost like uh look at the feels or uh, giving the vibes of a high-end product such as leather uh, watch or leather bag duffel bag uh, jackets and all that. Alright, looking from the sides, the buttons are just the same square shape in black with this, uh, uh, I believe the guard also comes in black colorway. Both sides go the same, three screws, two to hold uh, the watch band on here, one to hold this bottom, uh, I believe this is the uh, button guard actually. The bezel is locked together with the watch band, look at that, the watch band is locked with this hard case, so sort of like a clip over here, and then they, we screw them all together. The watch face on here is, I believe, similar. I'm referring to this thing around here. The watch display over is indeed a positive display in black colorway. Default display, nothing much uh, that is too good because if you compare this type of positive display to this type of positive display, they aren't the same at all. This thing a little bit more uh, uh, faded. There's not as clear or crisp as the display on this GW5000 series square model. So. This one is better, you guys could judge by yourself as well as I'm placing the watch over here. 
The difference is very very obvious actually. So for the function wise, let's run through all of them again. Uh, first, day, date, and time, and home time, and then we're gonna go to a world time. Wait, I couldn't see it much actually. Next, we're gonna go to stopwatch, and then a countdown timer, and then a alarm, and home time. That's pretty much it. And one other feature that is also interesting, I believe, same as this, and also this, is that these fellows have dual illuminator which equals to the digital display will light on and also this all this index the ring around here will light on as well when you turn on the light which is in my case are now aren't very visible because the battery is running low and I'm in a very well lit room right now here the buttons are just similar type of material both of this is the same nothing uh, different at all the finishing are all the same and also similar things again the watch pen feature is square texture on top of here nothing much don't serve anything except for aesthetic and the finishing on here if I'm not mistaken is a little bit different from this one this is just flat paint orange with gloss finish this one also comes in uh, a little glossy I believe this is just matte tile finishing and have a little bit of uh, metallic type of dusting on there but it's not as visible actually but the paint is different not just single tone of colorway so just so you know both sides go the same up here as well and this one is in use condition so that's why you are seeing a lot of use marks cough scratch here and there so just bear with me uh, the band keeper in uh, I believe similar tone but due to age I believe this is why this thing looks faded today the buckle is by Casio China I believe they are all just the same similar buckle that they use in here glossy stainless steel uh, finishing over there and the bottom part is one of the best feature for this very model is that have a lot of tiny texture down there which gives this thing a very high-end look I mean most of high-end products have a lot of uh, tiny detailing I believe this guy have this as well they have a lot of netting light all around here I'm not sure what the, that thing serves a purpose for but it looks very nice and the detailing is there so it is there to be appreciated for the lovers and look at that a lot of detailing on the watch band and since this thing is pretty dark the colorway it's not gonna grab a lot of attention minus this glossy part though I mean this thing very very effective it's gonna grab some sort of attention if you are in a very uh, outdoor during a sunny day uh, this thing is gonna be pretty annoying to some people but for me though it's all fine looking at the backplate G8100B stainless steel back uh, made in Thailand water resistant to 200 meter that is 20 bar very tough G-Shock I'm thinking of getting a lot of this thing yeah I'm not sure if I would be able to grab all of them but I'll try my best to grab as much as this and probably be reviewing them all at once because they are all just the same and the only difference is just the colorway and some might come with a different type of display and most of them the only difference that is on the watch face this and this the difference is very obvious on the watch face as far as the watch band and bezel goes they're just different colorway that's that and here it is man the fit for this very model or how this thing gonna look like on your wrist compared to when you're wearing this orange one I mean this thing is very very bold man look at that you know what before I end this video let's just jump right here to me wearing this on my skinny wrist um, I'm gonna need to wear this at hose number two from the top and this is the main issues that I still have for this very model and that is the extended tongue at the tip here look at how long that thing is man look at that this part is very annoying man the watch is already small enough I mean a very nice small square watch where it's very unique not like other G-Shock and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are gonna like this but this thing is the deal breaker man if only this thing is a little shorter I'm pretty sure all of you guys gonna enjoy only one of this especially for the low prices man but I mean some of you guys are willing to snip this thing off or use a rubber band to wear over there so that's all up to you guys but this is indeed an issue that I found in my case because I have very skinny wrist. If you have a bigger wrist, man, this thing gonna look very, very good on your hand. And I believe that is all that I have to share on this very video. 
Leave a like if you found this video helpful, informative and entertaining as well for your future reference and also subscribe to see more contents like this in the future man. Thank you very very much for watching, I really really appreciate your support, this is G-Shop channel and uh,